today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the PS2 emulator called PCSX2. First, you want to go into the description and click the first link. This will bring you to the PCSX2 homepage. Once on this homepage, you want to select Latest Nightly and then choose your operating system. Once this file is downloaded, you're going to need one more to get the emulator working. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you where to get a BIOS file, but if you do a quick Google search, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Now that we have the emulator and the BIOS file downloaded, you need to extract them. To do this, you're going to have to have an application called 7-Zip. This will also be linked in the description, and once you're sure you have 7-Zip, you then want to right-click on the file and select Extract To. What this will do is it will extract it into its own folder, so it's not all messy and unorganized on your desktop. Now that we've extracted both files, you want to open up the PCSX2 folder and create a new folder called BIOS. This is where you're going to copy the BIOS files to, so just drag and drop them into this folder and you're good to go. Now that we have the emulator set up and open, you'll see that it's asking us for a game directory. So to add your games, all you're going to do is click on add game directory and I have my games on an external hard drive so I'm just going to select that and all my games will load in. And you might get this pop up and if you do, you just want to press yes. Now if you go up to settings and pick graphics, I recommend they use these settings to get the best performance. If your PC doesn't have a GPU, I recommend using DirectX3D 11 or 12, but if it does, stick with OpenGL for the best performance. Now in the rendering tab, I run my games at 1080p 3x native with 16x anisotropic filtering um, to ensure my games look the best that it can. Now there's a few settings that you can play around with such as changing the size of the game with a slider up top so you can make it bigger and smaller. Um, you can choose to have no name so it only displays the cover art. If you wanted to show your games in a list format you can do that if you wanted to as well. You might be wondering how to change the cover art. All you're going to do is right click on a game and then go set cover image and then you're just going to choose the cover or the photo that you want. Now if this video did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more emulation tutorials like this in the future. See you guys in the next one.